right, so we're at the dam. We're at the dam, dam. We're at the goddamn dam. So last year, um, a bouncer from one of the bars up here, like I think he was 24 years old or so, I think he was a bouncer at AV or something. I'm not sure, but anyway, he was messing around with some of his friends right here on the dam, and he, uh, he apparently jumped out to try to scare one of them and fell 60 or 70 feet right to his death, man. So just, just be super fucking careful, guys. Um, it can be dangerous up here. Gabriel Magania sent me... A, well, he sends me lots of great emails, man. But, like, this one was, uh, letting me know that there was someone fucking who was found face down floating in the lake last weekend, I believe. Um, you just gotta be really careful out here, guys. Like, I don't think that, that there was any foul play involved there. I'm not sure. We, we in the town would have heard about it. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, just be really careful. This is a beautiful place, but uh, don't let its beauty and serenity take you off guard. You want to make it home to your family, so just be careful.
and turn left on Oak Street. So basically you're just driving the whole school and as soon as you get to the end of the field you just make a left on Oak Street and follow this and there will be signs saying like you have to turn here because this is a dead end type shit and just follow these signs but just go down to the very end until you can't go anymore. So see not a through street through traffic don't test that they're telling the truth <laughs> so make a left left here and just follow the signs obviously we didn't need to do this but I just want to show you guys and this lets you out on Ren W-R-E-N and that's the same street as a uh, there's an auto body shop on Wren. At the very end of Wren, there's a, to the right here, Pine Summit, a, a convention, a Christian type of a thing. Very cool thing over there. So, and right here is Brownie Lane. This is where Brownie Lane begins. And this is what takes me all the way home. So boom, now I don't have to deal with any fucking traffic. Everyone else is just fucking driving out there, stuck in traffic, taking two hours to get to where they need to go, and it takes me uh, 15 minutes. And I'm not being facetious when I say it can take them that long. Um, it, when we have our crowded weekends up here, guys, you guys know, you guys really know, Gabriel, I'm sure you know, bro, for sure. Like, like dude, this, it gets, it gets just discombobulated up here, man. People don't know what the fuck is going on. They don't know up from down. They don't know their ass from their vagina. Like, dude, it's, it's, it's just shit gets all fucking tore up from the floor up up here when we have our, 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 our crazy ass weekends. And it will literally take you just from Big Bear City to get to like Boulder Bay. Like three hours, two and a half, three hours on Big Bear Boulevard. It's a fucking nightmare. Um, <laughs> so thank God when I first moved up here, I worked for Domino's. They gave me a job, um, and I got to learn the town a little bit. It was very helpful. It was very helpful. So to the right there is Snow Summit Ski Resort.